Hi everyone, so I'm recording this video to let you know some of my thoughts on streaming right now by which I mean streaming on YouTube versus streaming on Twitch and streaming overall so let me start by saying that I do really like Twitch as a streaming platform there are a lot of things it does well so I will not stop streaming on Twitch because I really do genuinely enjoy streaming there and uh, for me it's hard to explain but streaming on Twitch is lower pressure than doing anything on YouTube I don't feel like I'm at the mercy of any kind of algorithm on Twitch while I am on YouTube I can stream whatever I want on Twitch like I played through the entire Mass Effect Legendary Edition on Twitch which was close to 100 hours of streaming total and I really enjoyed that and I didn't care that it didn't pull good numbers like that's not why I was streaming it when on YouTube if I had the audacity to do something like that on my YouTube channel in any way, shape or form the YouTube algorithm would wreck me because it's clearly not really something that fits my YouTube content so that would have an effect on the entire channel on Twitch I don't really have to care and on Twitch I can jump immediately to something like Humankind and uh, like Twitch doesn't care that I was streaming something completely different a week earlier it literally doesn't matter it doesn't work that way it's not YouTube and not to mention there are a lot of features on Twitch which are focused on streaming obviously Twitch has always been a streaming platform so that's what they have always been focused on but there are a lot of community focused features there are a lot of streaming features in general there are things like drops which do not exist on YouTube so you can't do any kind of drop campaign with a developer or publisher on YouTube because that's not a thing on YouTube take the whole humankind avatar drops this is not possible to do on YouTube because that feature does not exist on YouTube and many other things really raids work really well on Twitch I'm not going to list everything here but you get the general idea so I'm not going to stop streaming on Twitch but I was considering streaming different things in different ways on YouTube because YouTube actually works pretty well for short streams and by short I mean like 2-3 hours long which on the other hand does not work very well on Twitch Twitch is best for like 5-6 hours or even longer streams that's what works best and while YouTube lacks a lot of the streaming features Twitch has uh, there's one massive advantage YouTube has in terms of streaming which is uh, the VOD experience in general and the fact you can very easily rewind a stream in progress if you join late and watch whatever you missed you can do it on double speed you can do it on 1.5 speed you can just go through various parts you can very easily go back and forth on a live stream on Twitch is way less convenient you can still kind of do it on a stream in progress if you missed like the first hour for example but it's way way less convenient you have to go to past broadcasts it and the whole VOD experience on Twitch is just not good it's way less convenient it's so much easier to do on YouTube and that's one major advantage streams on YouTube have but also uh, the YouTube algorithm actually treats streams differently uh, than videos of streams if that makes sense if you upload a stream to YouTube then that's not the same as streaming directly on YouTube and then leaving it up the algorithm treats that differently and while it wouldn't work with games that are like wildly different compared to my, uh, to my normal content on YouTube 
Like, it wouldn't really work if I streamed Mass Effect, for example, on my YouTube channel. But it might work better with things like Civ, for example, or maybe even something like Remworld, definitely XCOM, if I end up checking out uh, Long War of the Chosen, which I considered, that might actually work pretty well when streamed. So I was considering streaming on both, but different things in different ways. I could certainly stream some stuff on YouTube that I wasn't planning on editing anyway. So instead I could just straight up stream it for an hour, for example, and then stream another hour the next day, and then the next day. I don't know if that would work, but I might actually give it a shot to see if it would. There are definitely some games that I would probably, like, basically never play if I don't do it like this. Rimworld is a perfect example of such game. If I don't just stream Rimworld at some point, chances are I will end up never playing it, even though it's one of my top games that I intend to go back to at some point. So that would work. And also I probably wouldn't be making videos of Long War of the Chosen, for example, especially when I'm just checking it out, but I would be totally okay streaming that, because I plan to play it anyway. So, what are the conclusions? One conclusion is what I said earlier, I will always stream on Twitch, I like Twitch as a streaming platform, I will not stop streaming there, and it's great to be able to stream whatever I want, so I will do that for sure, like guaranteed, that's not going anywhere, I will always continue to do that, I enjoy doing that, I don't have to care what I'm doing there, I can just do like whatever I want. This is the reason why I played Mass Effect on Twitch, it was 94 hours total I think, if I uh, don't include like the press stream, and it was great, I really enjoyed that. But there's no way I would ever do that on YouTube. And RPGs in general, because I always like them, but it's not really something that works well in a video form, and it's definitely not something that ever worked well on YouTube for me. But Twitch is perfect for that. And many there are other games, really. I played some really weird games on Twitch a few times, things that would not fit YouTube at all. So that's one type of content that I will always a stream on Twitch, one way or the other, which leaves us with Civ, other strategy games, and possibly something like Humankind. So Humankind is a unique case, because you can get my avatar drop by watching my Humankind streams, but that only works on Twitch. So while obviously Humankind would work really well on YouTube, for me, the only way to get my avatar drop is to watch me streaming on Twitch. So I'm really torn about that one. I'm even not quite sure what to do with that one right now when I'm recording this. So that's a unique case. But then there are things like XCOM, which has always been basically my second game on YouTube, and in some ways XCOM has been more consistent than Civ for me on YouTube, so I might actually end up streaming that a bit here and there. I was considering doing it as a test run, for a week, maybe two weeks, and see how well or how poorly that would end up working. So maybe I'll do that. If I do that, uh, then streams on YouTube will be considerably shorter than streams on Twitch, I don't think they would be longer than 3-4 hours, and probably shorter than that. That's like max. 1-2 hours would actually work pretty well, most likely. So maybe I'll give it a shot for a week or two or three, and see how that will go. And I will also maintain some kind of streaming schedule on Twitch, like I have for the past year basically. Because at this point I have basically been streaming regularly on Twitch for a year. Sometimes it's more often, sometimes it's less often, but one thing that I enjoy about it 
is doing it with no pressure. That's the reason Twitch actually works for me, because I tried to make it work in various ways over the years. And honestly, this is the only way that it does work when I just do it without any uh, pressure. So I don't pressure myself to like stick to any particular schedule other than my Saturday streams. So I'm totally fine keeping with the usual traditional Saturday streams. Although I didn't stream on every single Saturday in the last year, but I'm totally fine keeping Saturday as a streaming day on Twitch. So that's staying. But other than that, I've just been doing it uh, when one, there's something I want to do more uh, when I feel up to it, because I don't always feel up to doing like a seven hour stream. I mean, I'm not 20 years old anymore. And the 20 hour stream is actually a bit exhausting, both physically and mentally. So it's not something I can do every day or even every other day. So yeah, like I enjoy doing Twitch like without putting any pressure on myself. So that's how I will continue doing it. And I will continue doing games that like don't really fit YouTube over there. I don't know what I'm going to do with Humankind after release with the whole Avatar situation. I don't know. I might end up doing it like on both. Like I'm really not sure. And by doing it on both, I mean doing different things. Because in case you don't know, I cannot stream on Twitch and YouTube simultaneously. My contract doesn't allow it. But I can stream different content on YouTube. I can do completely original streams on YouTube. Things that are not like restreams of things I've already done on Twitch and the things that are not simultaneous streams. So I can stream like unique original content to YouTube, no problem. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that with Humankind, but I honestly don't know. I don't know. But I thought about it, but I have no idea. I'll have to think about it some more. <laughs> and then there's XCOM and Civ, which I might give it a shot on YouTube for a week or two or three and see how that goes. And I think that's that when it comes to my thoughts right now. And uh, yeah, there's one more thing on YouTube. On YouTube, you can stream using whatever bitrate you like. On Twitch, there's kind of a soft cap of 6,000 uh, bitrate. So, yeah. And I don't think that's quite enough for 180p 60fps. A lot of streamers on Twitch uh, stream either 30fps or like 720p, sometimes 900p 60fps. It's just, there is a visible difference between 6,000 bitrate and let's say 8,000 or 10,000. On YouTube, you can stream in whatever bitrate your connection can handle. You can even do like 1440p 60fps on YouTube and it works pretty well. So that's definitely one major like technological advantage of streams on YouTube. They are just higher quality or you can make them higher quality if you like. And then, like I said, the whole VOD experience just works way better, which also makes sense. That's what YouTube is. And yeah, but I think that's it for this video. If you have any comments, feel free to pause them. Here or on Discord, doesn't really matter all that much. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know what my thoughts are about streaming right now. Uh, that might have been a little bit chaotic, but that's basically where I am right now. I think about it like almost every day, every week, because in the end, like there are strong advantages to streaming on YouTube and there are strong advantages to streaming on Twitch. Like there's no one obvious answer there. You can easily make an argument for streaming on YouTube and you can easily make an argument for streaming on Twitch. It's kind of a no-win situation. Like, and then there are things both platforms are missing in a big way. So, like, 
regardless of what you choose, you are going to miss out on something. Like, there's no way around it. So that's where my dilemma comes from, basically. And I did talk with a few people who have been streaming on YouTube, like Potato, Chris Odd, and I know some of their thoughts about streaming on YouTube. Which is why I know like it can actually work pretty well if you stream things that fit your channel well. Which is why I kind of wanted to give it a shot in some capacity, in some form. But I'm not giving up streaming on Twitch because overall I enjoy the Twitch streaming experience more. It's more chill for me. I don't feel the pressure of the almighty algorithm. It's just better. I just find it more relaxing in general. Uh, so, right, I'm not going to repeat myself anymore. Uh, that's it for this video, update, whatever. Uh, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.